bullshit, bullshit, and just a pinch more fucking bullshit. How is that a fucking hit on a defenseless wide receiver? It doesn't make any fucking damn sense. We've seen 900 replays of it in the last three and a half minutes, and he didn't lead with his helmet. The guy had the ball. He took two steps. That's a perfectly good fucking hit, and the refs botched it. Um, they botched that one. We hurt ourselves the whole game, though. Multiple times in the red zone, can't come away with a touchdown. We had a drop in the end zone that should have gone for a score. Missed field goal that we should have had three points right there. It, it's it's mind-boggling to me because we play so freaking tough throughout the whole fucking game. But yet when we get inside the 30, we just seem to shoot ourselves in the fucking damn foot. It, it's mind-boggling, like I just said. Just complete mind-boggling. Kaiser looked pretty damn good today. He growth all the way across the board his movement inside the pocket looked pretty damn good i know he took some sacks in there that can be attributed to either left tackle right tackle uh coleman had a right tackle had multiple holding calls on him so uh well, that would make one think that he was getting beat so hence maybe that's where all those sacks were coming from uh it really is fucking starting to suck to be a Browns fan, but I wouldn't change it for the world. Uh, I love being a Browns fan. I just hate the fucking agony of being one. Um, other news in the game, Kenny Britt actually showed the fuck up. Nice couple of catches, Kenny. Congratulations. And uh, from the picks, uh, the Cincinnati side, everything I've been talking about and Mark Herman, L.A., aka LA Bango fan on Twitter has been talking about Mixon needs to be involved more Mixon was involved more had his first 100 yard game uh, the guy looks like a legit beast yeah that's uh, pretty much all I got like I, it's just disgusting to, to watch us lose week in and week out when we're in every game week in and week out it makes you start to wonder if it is the head coach and if Hugh Jackson does have the ability to get the job done, or does he really actually need some fucking help and maybe an offensive coordinator? Uh, there has to be a reason why Manning was in town or Singletary was in town, and who knows who else has skated in through town and nobody's known about it. Um, Hugh, you got to get the job done, baby. you got to coach a little bit better. Get us a fucking offensive coordinator. And for the love of God, the special teams, well, we're just... We'll save special teams for Wednesday at Rocco's. Uh, we'll be at Rocco's Wednesday around noon. If you're in Studio City, come on down, check us out. Uh, I think we do put on a pretty good live show, and it'll be fun to have guest and audience interaction this week. Um, it is going to be a Jersey Week swap, so we will be there. There will be a group show Wednesday. In addition to that, superfanstyle.com. Uh, mention AFC North 20. Get the discount check out New Stripe City. I'm sure, I'm sure he'll have something to say here about this game real soon. And uh, Baltimore Ravens guide, new football podcast. Check him out. Uh, he's doing some pretty good stuff over there. He's got some rankings going on, talks a little fantasy. Yeah, it's a good show. Um, yeah, with all that, I'm going to sign off with fuck Cincinnati again. Fuck the play calling. Fuck our inability not to score points when we're inside the red zone. And till next week, there y'all go. Have a great one.